Hello, fellow gunners. Tim here at the Reloading Bench. All right, so, uh, you know, I've been doing this 7mm and actually having better luck with cast bullets than I am jacketed bullets. So, a lot of you suggested, instead of going with the 139 grain, what I've been shooting, to go with a heavier, longer bullet. <laughs> so, I kind of went to the extreme with the 175 grain Sierra Hala point uh, boat tail. This is a match bullet. Now this is, says recommended for eight point eight and a half uh, inch twist. Uh, my gun has a nine inch twist. Uh, one in nine. So uh, there we are. So Okay, I instead of loading a whole bunch of five shots, I went with the Saturday method. I uh, started at uh, 40 grains and ended up at uh, 41.8 grains of H4350. I uh, went with two grain intimates instruments in the you know what I'm saying <laughs> I um, point to grain intervals and in, yeah all right which is a little fine a lot of you go well you know maybe three or four point three or four grains might have been better which it probably would have because I've noticed that the plateaus were actually more pronounced but I ran into two at least uh, so that that helped um, and I'm going to show you that I hope you can see that it's not like some fancy chart I have here it's just numbers but you can see here's my first plateau and here's my second plateau and what the numbers are for the charge uh, I did shoot at a target. It was shooting with this bullet. It was shooting extremely low. <laughs> and I will show you what I mean by that. I was aiming here and hitting here. Okay. <clears throat> so the more I went up and charged, the farther down the bullets were going. So I'm like, I'm going to have to do something. So I readjusted my scope. And we came up here for the last four shots. All right. Now, these were the first six shots. And that's pretty promising to have different loads, especially as low as it was and the speed that it started out to be. And then when I got up into the higher speeds, I don't know what happened. Uh, my first shot was right in here, and then it jumped up here, then went here, and then the last two went back down here. Or one. Last one. So, <clears throat> that was my finding on that. So, I, I went with the second plateau. I went somewhere in the middle. And that plateau ran from... 41.4 to 41.8. <clears throat> so getting about the same speed with with those loads, I decided to go not really even in the middle. I just went with 41 and a half grains. Easier to remember. Just simple, simple. You got to keep it simple. <clears throat> so 41 and a half grains is what I've loaded. Now this is, uh, oh, I didn't, I didn't cover what brass I was using. I was using Winchester uh, nickel-plated brass. Now I'm pretty sure that's thicker than just brass brass. And uh, in my last video with the PPU, which was my first firing, with that brass, uh, you know I fired two that was over pressure. 
Well, if you want to run your brass quick, do that. This primer hole is shot. It will not hold a primer. So first firing, pst, wait, wasted brass by uh, overpressuring. Uh, so start low and go up, guys. Don't don't just start at the max <laughs> because you might find out your gun. Well, that's another thing. I had a lot of comments of people going, "Why are why are you starting?" as low as you are with a 7 millimeter 08 why not go up higher well with the chambering I've noticed in this 7 millimeter 08 that I have the CVA Hunter it actually is a tight chamber and pressures build quick in this gun uh, quicker than uh, most of my bolt actions I've used so I have to start lowering this gun and work up. <clears throat> okay. So I have loaded five of these 41 and a half grains of 4350 behind this 175 grain Sierra uh, match bullet. And I'm... I'm going to see how those five group. And then I'm loading five in the uh, Winchester nickel-plated brass. Uh, now you guys know in the past I have used military 308 brass neck down to 7mm 08. That did not work out f well for me, so I am not doing that. <laughs> uh so, uh, come on. Oh, and my overall length is the maximum, uh, 2.8. Now, and that's overall length. That's not to the old job. Uh, guys, that might be a way to do it, but it's just as inconsistent as measuring it to the tip uh, in my book. Because it has been proven that bullets do not, the old jive is not consistent on on some bullets. So, one half dozen of the other. I am trickling up every one of these loads, so. But I am not separating my brass. I'm not weighing it. I'm not going by capacity. I'm just using what I grab when I grab it. <laughs> I'm gonna turn you guys toward this. Look how long that bullet is when you just put it right in the mouth of that case. <laughs> All right. Now notice the tension. So I know this brass is thicker. The tension on this uh, Winchester is a whole lot more than the PPU. So I've got a feeling, well... But this is what I tested those loads with, isn't it? Okay. So I was thinking I might run into pressure, but I'm not going to. Actually, it's going to be less with the PPU because it, it's thinner brass. All right, guys. So that's my finding with with uh, the 7 millimeter 08 and this bullet for now. I will get back uh, with the results of the group shooting when I get to the range, but it is sleeting, snowing. <laughs> it's miserable here in Missouri. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Can't worry about a little snow. It ain't bothering them men out there in Utah.